其實我講廣東話就誒冇乜問題嘅，所以我我都覺得我啲廣東話算係流利嘅。誒，尤其是我呢幾年喺香港，誒，我覺得你喺香港想揾食誒唔識講廣東話，其實會有難處嘅。It's always it's always a bit of surprise. It's always a bit of 嚇，哇！原來你識講廣東話嘅，哇！原來你啲廣東話咁流利嘅。So Um, it's definitely a pleasant thing. It's definitely a useful thing, um, and because of this, a lot, uh, it's easier for me to start conversations with people. And I'm always, I'm very interested in people. Uh, my name is Paul Miser. I'm uh, born and raised in Hong Kong. I am a basketball player and a basketball fan. Um, actually, I love all sports, um, so that's one of my big passions. I work in uh, fintech. I do payments. Uh, I work in an American company uh, that has presences in over 150 countries worldwide. Um, apart from a few years for university, where I studied in Australia, um, I've been working in Hong Kong and China. I've spent two years working in Guangzhou and two years working in Shenzhen, um, and now. Living uh, in Hong Kong with my family, I'm married with two children and a third child on its way as well. My dad's English, and so I kind of understand the British colonial history of Hong Kong. Uh, and my mom's Chinese, and I also have a huge appreciation of some of the values and some of the work ethic of Chinese people. So for me, Hong Kong has always been where I felt most at home. Apart from that, I also just love the city. I think Hong Kong is just one of those places where you have everything. Um, you can go out to the countryside. I used to, I grew up living in villages in in Ma Wan Shan, in Clearwater Bay, and so the type of life that you have there, you don't really expect when you, people think of Hong Kong. They're thinking of high rises. They're thinking of urban city centers. Uh, but I was very lucky to grow up in a way that I was able to live in the countryside, experience life in the countryside. And that's only around 20, 30 minutes drive, and then you're into the city in Hong Kong. So you have all of the nightlife, all of the great restaurants, all of the entertainment and excitement of Hong Kong. And you still also have some, a lot of that natural beauty, a lot of the country parks in Hong Kong as well. So I think that makes Hong Kong very unique. So I think that in, in the UK, actually traveling, transportation is quite expensive. Taxis are around four to five times as expensive as it is in Hong Kong. So you need to have a car, but they don't really have good car parking or, or spaces for that in the UK either. Um, and then, but the public transportation systems over there are nowhere near as good as it is in Hong Kong. Um, another comparison that I'd make is um, when I try to go to do some banking when I'm in the UK, it takes weeks in order to open a bank account, in order to get all the, the documentations. You have to go in person to the banking, fill out all of the forms. Whereas I can see in Hong Kong, for me, it'll take an hour to fill up all of the forms online, um, get it all processed. For me, Hong Kong is my home, you know, and I believe in Hong Kong and I love the life that we have in Hong Kong. Um, for my children, I think that Hong Kong is such a safe place to grow up. In other countries, I might have to worry about if they go to the parks, if they go to the playgrounds, will there be crazy people there? Will there be racist people there that might bully my kids? Um, so that's one of these important factors. In Hong Kong, I can let my children go downstairs to play um, and, and, and do all these things. I don't have to worry so much. Also in Hong Kong, um, you have helpers. Um, domestic helpers make such an impact. It allows for me and my wife to both be able to work um, as well as have somebody we trust and love to help look after our kids as well. And that's something that would be very hard to continue and support uh, if we were working in other countries or living in other countries as well. I think dynamic is going to be one of the words. I think efficient is going to be one of the other words that I use. I think getting things done in Hong Kong happens, can happen very quickly. I think resilient is one of the words that I would like to use to describe Hong Kong as well. 
I think Hong Kong has always had ups and downs, always. It's very heavily influenced by what's happening in China, in America, and all of these other places. But throughout Hong Kong's history, we have continued to grow, continued to get better. And so I believe that this is also going to be the case going forward. For me, I'm just very fascinated and interested in history. Um, I feel like Chinese history is some of the richest, uh, most complex history. And really through there, you can learn so much about human nature, about politics, about how leadership and governments work. Um, so I feel like there's a lot of learnings from Chinese history that I wish more people in the world would pay attention to. Um, I think nowadays people are always very focused on what catches their attention right now, but they don't understand that a lot of the problems that we see nowadays, maybe they've happened or existed in the past. And seeing how people reacted during those times, I think will give us a lot more guidance and thoughts into what's going to happen um, in Hong Kong as well. We believe that China is going to be um, the world economic engine for the next 15 to 20 years. Uh, but we, we, we love the fact that in Hong Kong, you get to kind of be both sides of that. You get to enjoy the benefits of that proximity to China, but at the same time, you also still enjoy a high degree of freedom and quality of life that would be hard to get uh, in other places in the world. Hong Kong has always been the gateway to the world and the gateway between China and, and all of these other countries. Um, as I said, I think for me, my ability to understand Cantonese, my ability to understand Mandarin helps me in terms of my communications and understanding what Hong Kong people are thinking and what they're wanting. And to be able to communicate this in a clear and concise manner to multinationals and other companies in the world that are trying to break into Hong Kong, I think that I can provide a lot of value towards this. And um, that's something that I hope to be able to achieve. Uh, throughout my time in Hong Kong as well.